Today I want to talk about why I think it's important to memorize scripture. Psalm 119.11 says, I have stored up your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. Psalm 37.31 says, the law of his God is in his heart. His steps do not slip. And over and over, I wrote down a few, Deuteronomy 11.18, Psalm 1, 1 through 3, Jeremiah 15, 16. All of these verses talk about storing the Word of God in our heart. I think that it's clear that we're supposed to be challenging ourselves and to start trying to learn to memorize scripture because our brains need to create new synapses. We need to start challenging our brains to, to focus on something, to try and remember something even when it's difficult. It's also important when it comes to being out in the day-to-day -day life because we cannot give what we do not have. And if we don't have scriptures in our hearts, if we don't have God's Word, which is the life giving in us, how can we help other people? We can also overcome temptations. When Jesus was tempted by Satan, he always returned, it is written, it is written. And when you use scripture to overcome temptation, to help others, to guard your own heart, and to, to grow every day, then we are doing what Jesus did. Now there are a few tips I have to memorize verses that are, are going to touch your life specifically. If you see a verse that you really like, write it down, start memorizing it, start committing that to memory. Sometimes it's good to memorize specific verses, but it's also good to memorize chapters because then you take an entire idea and an entire theme and you can memorize easier. Then when you're talking to somebody, sometimes you can recall, oh, I remember them talking about love in this chapter. I remember them talking about the state of the dead in this chapter. I remember them talking about hope and salvation or the Sabbath or, or the commandments or whatever you want to be talking about. Pick preferably a short chapter to start out with. Pick something in the New Testament, maybe something that has a lot of verses that will kind of jump out at you and be easy, easier to kind of connect all the middle verses. Pick something that means something to you. Pick Romans, pick 1 Peter or James. Speci I've done 1 John and I'm working on James right now. The other thing that I recommend doing is making, getting these little rings. You can get these little rings at Walmart and you can divide up the verses onto each flashcard and put them on the rings so that you have 1 John or James or 2 Corinthians or whatever you're memorizing and then you have them with you as you go throughout your day. So wherever you are, if you're waiting somewhere, instead of what a lot of us do is take out our technology and we go on Facebook or we go on Pinterest or we check our emails or we're texting people, take out your memory verses and start going through your memory verses. Try to focus on the, the verses and then set it aside and try to say it by memory. Go one verse at a time till you're getting one, two, three, four, five, and you're going on and memorizing an entire chapter. Your brain is capable, I promise. The other thing to help you memorize is try to hit every form of learning. Auditory, we learn with visual. So what I do is not only am I writing it, but I read it out loud. And when I read it out loud, I try to emphasize each word at a different time. So I read it, depending on how many words are in it, I might read it that many times and then I emphasize a different word each time I read it. So for example, I'll just pick this first one. It's 1 John 5, 5. So 1 John 5, 5 says, who is he who overcomes the world, but he who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? And so if I were practicing that, I would say, who is he who overcomes the world, but he who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? Who is he who overcomes the world, but he who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? Who is he who overcomes the world, but he who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? Who is he who overcomes the world, but he who believes that Jesus is the Son of God? And so it might take a little bit to go through and emphasize and put a special inflection on each word that is in that scripture, but it's going to help your brain memorize it. It's going to help your eyes to see it and your voice to hear it and it's going to give you all of those different measures to help you memorize scripture. Challenge yourself with it. Challenge yourself mentally. Put that spiritual discipline in your life. Pick a verse in scripture. Pick a chapter in scripture and start challenging your brain. Start challenging yourself spiritually to memorize and to apply these things to your life because once you start putting them in your heart and mind, you're going to be able to share them much more rapidly with people who are in need.